When the snarling V8-powered American muscle cars first appeared, many people believed they were extinct. The exact opposite occurred, and we are now faced with excellent and startlingly potent renditions of three enduring American automobiles. Welcome everyone! In today's video, we're going to comparing Ford Mustang vs Chevy Camaro vs Dodge Hellcat. The Dodge Challenger, Ford Mustang, and Chevrolet Camaro have all but been forgotten due to the popularity of SUV. However, during the past 10 years or so, each has emerged as a distinct vehicle thanks to incredibly potent supercharged V8 engines, tire-melting torque, and incredible 0 to 60 miles per hour performances. Considering all of that, selecting one to purchase can be challenging. We come through our rankings to create a head-to-head -head comparison of the three vehicles' performance in key areas like acceleration and fuel economy. But before we proceed further details, if you're new to this channel, Remember, go ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Now get ready and make sure to stay tuned till the end as we dive right into the video. Ford Mustang vs Chevy Camaro vs Dodge Hellcat Fans admire the Ford Mustang, Dodge Challenger, and Chevrolet Camaro for a variety of reasons, including their looks, how well they handle, and their sheer amount of power. However, the cost of insurance is a topic that is rarely discussed when it comes to owning a muscle car. These values are calculated just as precisely as the ones on a time slip for a drag race. We collaborated with Insure.com to determine the costs of insurance for the most popular trim levels of the Camaro, Challenger, and Mustang. They are based on national norms for a male age 40 who is single, has a spotless driving record, good credit, and a daily commute of 12 miles. His liability insurance policy has limits of $100,000 for injury liability to one person, $300,000 for all injuries, and $50,000 for property damage. It also includes coverage for comprehensive damage and uninsured motorists, and has a deductible of $500, because he is the kind of responsible and mature person who would never even consider chirping the tires. You should never worry about him. His figures provide an indication of which muscle cars are the most and least expensive to insure. Even if it isn't you, it isn't us. So have a look at those. Challenger SXT, Camaro 1 LS, and Mustang EcoBoost face off against each other. Even though they might not have V8 engines, entry-level muscle vehicles nevertheless have a lot of visual appeal. The Challenger SXT with a V6 engine produces 303 horsepower and has an average annual insurance premium of $2,000. The Mustang EcoBoost with its 310 horsepower turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine has an annual insurance cost of $1,850. Although it only produces 275 horsepower from its turbocharged inline four engine, the Camaro 1 LS has the most affordable annual insurance rate of these three vehicles at $1,732. Winner, Chevrolet Camaro 1 LS, Mustang GT vs Camaro LT1 vs Challenger RT. Any muscle car is improved by the addition of a V8 engine since it increases power, noise, and enjoyment. The thing is, it also makes insurance rates more expensive. The Challenger RT has the least amount of horsepower out of these three vehicles, clocking in at 375, and it also has the highest annual insurance premium, coming in at $2,091. In the middle of the pack is the 455 horsepower Camaro LT1, which has annual insurance premiums of approximately $2,012. The Ford Mustang GT, on the other hand, offers the most power for the lowest cost, with 460 horses to its name and an annual insurance premium of only $1,951. Ford Mustang GT Mustang Bullet vs Camaro SS vs Challenger RT Scat Pack. It's one thing to have a V8 engine, but styling, handling, and panache might make the additional investment worthwhile. The Challenger RT Scat Pack boasts 485 horsepower, larger brakes, and other design elements that bring its average annual premium up to $2,329 across the country. Although Ford discontinued the Mustang Bullet for 2021, this particular trim has a specific appeal due to its gorgeous green paint job 
and 475 horsepower engine. The average cost of insurance for it is $2,247. The Camaro SS boasts 455 horsepower, which is helped out by an enhanced cooling system and summer tires. It also features a spoiler and tinted taillights, which give it a sportier appearance. With a yearly premium of approximately $2,016, it has the lowest cost of insurance among these three options. The winning vehicle was a Chevrolet Camaro SS, which competed against a Mustang GT500, a Camaro ZL1, and a Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. Certain enthusiasts of muscle cars will settle for nothing less than the highest power available and are willing to pay a premium for it. Both the 797 horsepower and the $3,282 annual insurance costs that come standard with the Challenger Hellcat Ridai are astounding figures. The Mustang GT500 has 760 horsepower and costs only $2,488 per year to insure, making it little less powerful than the Shelby GT500 but significantly cheaper. The Camaro ZL1 has 650 horsepower making it the least powerful of these three vehicles, but its annual insurance premium of $2,539 is less than that of the Challenger. Winner, Ford Mustang GT500, which V8-powered muscle cars have the lowest average annual premiums. The Chevrolet Camaro and the Ford Mustang are often less expensive to insure than the Dodge Challenger, although the costs might vary depending on the engine and trim level chosen for the vehicle. That'll leave some money for gas and new tires, so that's good. According to research conducted by Insure.com, the Dodge Challenger has the reputation of having the most expensive insurance premiums of any muscle car. The premiums for all three are significantly higher than those for the least expensive cars to insure but none of those automobiles comes close to matching the allure of these three ironically American brands. That's all for today's video. Which of them inspired you most and you want to buy it? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.